Hello, so I pulled out some old footage from last July, which was about three months into my glutathione journey. Um, I, I guess we won't count the first 30 days because the first 30 days I was on a glutathione that was really, really watered down. Like I'm not really sure how much I was taking. And then after the 30 days of being on those pills, I switched over to a different type of pill and all of a sudden my skin started purging and I could tell I wasn't really on the highest quality glutathione. Um, and so you have to be really careful about what type of glutathione that you're using. But anyways, so at this time in the video, I've been on glutathione for maybe two months and honestly, it's going pretty well. Like my skin had already um, changed uh, quite a bit and I'm showing how I do the rectal syringe and nebulizers. So just keep on watching. Um, I'm using reduced glutathione and some people have asked me what's the difference between L-glutathione and reduced glutathione. Honestly, they're all the same. You'll see some that are marketed as glutathione, some are l glutathione, some are reduced glutathione, some are reduced L-glutathione. Unless it says acetyl or liposomal in front of it, it's just glutathione. It's just reduced glutathione. And if you're taking that kind of glutathione, do not take it orally. Make sure you either do a rectal syringe or a nebulizer. And that is what's going to allow the reduced glutathione to get into your bloodstream and for you to get results um, pretty close to if you were to get an IV. I think nebulizer, you'll actually get like a glow after the nebulizer, but with nebulizers, there are some drawbacks. We'll talk about that in another video. This one, I just, obviously, I know my videos kind of all get jumbled together. This one was pushed down all the way at the bottom from last year. I think I'm like over a hundred videos in now. So anyways, I resurrected it and we can go over and you guys can see in real time what I do when I am mixing. So let's go ahead. So right now I'm just talking, showing my big bag of glutathione. I got this one from Bulk Supplements. It worked great. It tastes great. I know it's pure glutathione and really this is like the cheapest. I think I paid about $250 for the whole bag, but it was so much glutathione. It lasted me like five, almost six months. It was insane. So I mean, that's a plus. Now I'm showing you, I use distilled water. If you're doing rectal syringes, please use distilled water. Do not use bottled water. Do not use spring water, um, pH balanced water. You need distilled water. If you don't use distilled water, you could really, really hurt yourself. And we don't want that. You'll just get really bad. Like uh, I usually would get stomach cramps when I would use regular water to do enemas. And so I just take that as a sign that just don't put regular water up your butt. Go ahead and put distilled water. Um, yeah, <laughs> just, just for long term, I just think it's smart. So with rectal syringes, I was doing them at least twice a day. You can do them three times a day. And usually I do 2000 milligrams each syringe, which that basically for me, I think was about one teaspoon. So I had like my little teaspoon out, I would do one teaspoon and that would be 2000 milligrams. And then for, I'll show you how I mix that and everything. This is the syringe and you can get these, they're really, really cheap. You can reuse them. Some of them, like your numbers will wear off. So that's why I'm showing you right now where I go with the water. So for the water, I'll take like your pointer finger. That's what I'm showing you here. Taking your pointer finger, take the nail bed and basically put it up next to the syringe and you guys can't see this but i'm just showing you where the water should be so you want half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of water and that's it you really don't want to go to two speed two teaspoons of water you don't want to do anything above that because the less water for rectal syringe the better if you put more water you're going to find that your body is not able to hold it inside of you for long enough because the natural feeling is to go. It basically stimulates your bowels. So the less water you use, the better. So use half a teaspoon of water. And please do not use the same syringe that you're putting up your butt to get the water out. <laughs> so have one syringe to get the water out. And then take a separate mixing bowl, something really small. I think I got this down like the aisle, the travel aisle uh, in Walmart, where they just have like regular uh, little containers for when you fly. And this is the same recipe if you're doing the nebulizer. So everything so far is the same. Anyways, it's gonna look like this. It's very white, it's very milky. 
Now, if you go to put this in the nebulizer right now, I mean, you're, in the nebulizer basically is still gonna have like the grit down at the bottom. The baking soda really helps everything to kind of melt together. It's gonna turn like from this milky white to like almost a clear once you add a little bit of baking soda. So I highly recommend using the baking soda. And, Cause like I said, with how less water we put in there, cause you can't put a whole lot of water in there for rectal syringes, you just can't. Cause usually you would just add more, but you know, you wanna be able to hold it inside of you for as long as possible. So we're gonna take some baking soda and we're just gonna sprinkle it on there. And that's basically what's gonna turn it clear. And that means when I do suck it back up with the syringe and then obviously insert it, none of the glutathione is going to be left over in the syringe. So I'm not wasting anything. And we have the bubbles. And this is gonna go on for a while. Cause you know, it, it takes like a minute or so to two minutes, maybe three for everything to settle down. And so just keep on adding just a little bit of the baking soda until it turns clear. You definitely wanna give it time. And we're just waiting and it's getting there. You can see it's still, you know, reacting. Now, as far as how long you wanna leave this inside your body, cause after this, I'm gonna take my other rectal syringe, the one that is specifically for going up my butt <laughs> and um, I'm going to suck up the mixture that I just made and then I just take um, coconut oil lubricate the rectal syringe and um, you only put about an inch to an inch and a half of the syringe up your butt so please if you have a tape measure if you have a ruler if you have one of those measures that like go around like your waist you know Take one of those, figure out how much an inch, an inch and a half. If you go further than that, then you're really missing the whole point of doing a rectal syringe because there's like a small little area inside of your rectum and it's about an inch to a half an inch inside and that is where the basically whatever is inserted in that area, it can basically permeate through and get into your bloodstream. If you go too far, now it's just gonna go up your rectum, through the colon, and you know, you missed that little area. So it, it's pretty cool. It's like a, it's literally like a gland and it's not too far in there. As you see, we're getting nice and clear. So about right now, if I wanted to, I could suck that up and um, yeah, go ahead and insert it because it is ready. But yes, make sure that you're not putting your rectal syringe, like half of it in your butt <laughs> or the whole thing, like no. You really only need an inch to a half an inch because that's where that gland is in your rectum and that's the whole point while we're doing this is to get into the blood. And then from here, so if you're doing the nebulizer, you literally can pour this entire um, little tub in here. Just showing you what it looks like. I don't know what I'm saying because I just did the screen record. I didn't get the audio on it. But um, yeah, you'll see that it goes up to like this little line. And I think the line has like a six on it. But basically it's like, it's the line where liquid is supposed to go. It's like six CC, I think. Uh, I think that's what it says, yeah. With these nebulizers, you don't want to go any further than that. With nebulizers, it kind of sucks because, well, if you go too far, it's going to take forever and a day. And so that means you can only do about 2,000 milligrams of glutathione at a time. But to be honest, I still saw a glow, but it is very time consuming. Another drawback to nebulizers is that, as I was saying before my battery ran out, um, the drawback with the nebulizer is that uh, it has just like an awful smell, <laughs> like the vape smoke, whatever you want to call it, that comes out of it. It, you know, smells like, uh, like eggs almost, like you're making eggs and it gets just everywhere. It'll get in your hair. So if you have like a shower cap or something, put that on your hair. Um, if you have a wig, take the wig off. <laughs> put the wig in the closet or something. Like, um, yeah, you definitely don't want to do it and then like go out somewhere because you will have it on you. Just, just the scent because uh, glutathione is a, you know, sulfur. It's a type of sulfur and uh, yeah, it does not smell good. 
So I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm like, okay, let's get to the bottom. <laughs> let's get to the end of this. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Now you know what to do. If you're doing the nebulizer, obviously you just pour it into your little nebulizer container. If you're doing the rectal syringe, just pull out your syringe, the one specifically that goes up your butt, not the one that you put in your water to measure out the water. But yeah, just uh, get that out, uh, suck up the water out of whatever mixing container that you used and use your coconut oil for lubrication and insert it. Um, you don't have to like stay laying down to do the rectal syringes. You can just, um, usually I just like would lay on my bed or something, insert it, and then obviously go clean it out, uh, soap, water, uh, let it dry, and then yeah, basically go about your day.